today, we will see some misconceptions related to expressing large numbers in their standard form and their comparison. Misconception 1. Find the standard form of the number 45,236. Some students, while expressing the number 45,236 in standard form, fail to understand the concept of standard form altogether. They consider any exponential form to be the standard form of a number. With this knowledge, they believe these decimal forms, 45.236 into 10 to the power of 3, 0 0.45236 into 10 to the power of 5, and 4.5236 into 10 to the power of 4 to be the standard form of a given number and choose option 4, which is the wrong answer. Some students believe that the standard form of the number is expressed as in option 2, but this is also a wrong understanding. Hence, option 2 is an incorrect answer. The correct understanding is that both 45.236 into 10 to the power of 3 and 0 0.45236 into 10 to the power of 5 are exponential forms of the given number, but they are not the standard forms. It is because the standard form of a number is written in the form m into 10 to the power of p, where the value of m can be equal to or more than 1.0, but less than 10.0, and p is an integer. In option 1, we can observe that the value of m is greater than 10.0, so this is the wrong answer. In option 2, the value of m is smaller than 1.0, so it cannot be the standard form. In option 3, the value of m is greater than 1.0 and smaller than 10.0, and the value of p is 4, which is an integer. Hence, this is the standard form of the given number. Misconception 2. Which symbol will be used to compare the given numbers? Students often make some simple mistakes when comparing exponents. For example, some students ignore the power of 10 and only compare the decimal numbers. By comparing decimal numbers, they believe that the first number is greater than the second number, so they select option 1, which is the wrong answer. In order to compare correctly, we first check whether the two numbers are in their standard form or not. If the numbers are not in the standard form, then we convert it into the standard form. Next, we observe the power of 10 in both numbers and find out which number has a greater power of 10 and which one has a smaller. For example, here, the power of 10 in the second number is greater than the power of 10 in the first number. In such a situation, we can say that the second number is greater than the first number. Let's understand this better. We can write 5.495 into 10 to the power of 5 like this. Similarly, we can write 4.098 into 10 to the power of 6 as 40,98,000. Now, if we compare both numbers, we can see that the first number has 6 digits while the second number has 7 digits. And you must know that the whole number which has more digits is the greater number. Therefore, the second number is greater. Hence, the correct answer to the given question is option 2. Today we saw some misconceptions related to expressing large numbers in their standard form and their comparison.